Working with a green standard bread can be such an awesome experience. There's really no feeling quite like starting a horse from scratch yourself or from those really early stages and learning and growing and developing as a combination and a pair together. Uh, it's a great feeling, particularly when you do one day make an achievement that means something to you because you know just how much hard work has gone in to get to that point. But along the way, there are certainly those awful periods which sometimes are just not avoidable for horse people despite our very best efforts uh, all those really tricky rides where you come off the arena or you jump down out of the saddle and you're sort of left scratching your head or feeling a little bit frustrated or just not sure that you're ever going to get past this challenge you're facing and that you know that it's going to get better it seems like everyone around you sometimes is doing great things and you're just treading water or even going further back in your journey if you just can't get past or get yourself out of a little retraining rut. These feelings are entirely normal and there's certainly something that we work a lot on in our online programs for standard riders. But there's another little thing that I like to remind riders of and that is that our mindset is such a powerful thing when it comes to working with a green horse. Sometimes just staying positive uh, it can really mean the difference between whether you hang up the stirrups or whether you keep going. But finding that resolve and finding the reasons to keep going sometimes can be really hard. And I think that's why we need to remember, you know, in, in whatever we're doing, not just to look ahead at the things we want to achieve and not just to focus on the things we can't do, but to remember all of the things that, and be mindful of the things that we now can do that maybe we couldn't do a month ago or six months ago or a year ago, depending on how long you had your horse. There will be so many little tiny things that you will have achieved or mastered along the time, whether it's just the relationship you have with your horse or uh, little tiny groundwork skills or things that are hu a huge big deal that you can now do under saddle that you couldn't do when you first started. Uh, and, and they are worth remembering. And the other thing that we need to be mindful of is reminding ourselves of our big why, why we got into horses, why we got a standard bred and what it is that we love the most about them. Because when we're having those awful rides or we're just going, we're in a bit of a rut, as I said, and we're a little bit stuck, sometimes it's easier to forget those things and overlook them, you know, under the sort of cloud of frustration rather than going, you know what, this is really crap, but it's just a moment in time and it's something I've got to work through. But there are all of these positives as well that I need to remember because horses are meant to be fun and I'm sure that there is there are things that you can think about, you know, even if it's just how much you love your horse that will help you to move forward. And so I've created these... Um, beautiful little horse pendants. They come in gold or silver um, and they are designed to remind riders of all the great things about their horsemanship journey to date and their journey with their standard breads and the things that you have learned along the way and the things that you love about your horse. They are designed to be attached to the D-ring of your saddle so that they sit just in front of you. They're not heavy and they are designed they're safe you know they'll, they'll break if something goes wrong but they just they clip onto your saddle at the start of a ride so you just leave your little string on it and you click you click your pendant on there and if you want to change it at any point for whatever reason you can just unclick it but um, the idea is that sits in front of you on your saddle if you are a rider or even attaches to your halter because again it's not a dangerous little little trinket um, on the halter one of the rings of the halter uh, where you lead your horse or you can put them on your car keys. Now what these are designed to do is they're designed to remind you of all the great things. So if you're having a bit of a crap ride what you can do is breathe and remind yourself whether you just run your fingers over it or you just look down at it for a second to stop and be mindful of the fact that what you're going through is just one isolated thing. It's just a movement you're struggling with. It's just you know, it's just a feeling of maybe you just really stressed out in other elements of your life and you need to remind yourself just to chill and breathe and not to take it out on your horse so much or not to take it personally because horses don't think like that. They're not doing things to annoy you or upset you. They're just acting and reacting to the aids we're giving them, the cues are giving them, giving them their habits, their scenarios and the things environmentally around them. So we need to remind ourselves, first of all, sometimes 
not to take it so personally. Um, I like the idea of having these on my halters because what it does is it puts me in a good positive frame of mind before I get my horse out. So I look at it when I grab my halter off, you know, it's hooked to go and catch my horse. And what that does is it gets me to start thinking about I'm going to catch my horse and this is what I want to work on today and we were doing really well at this last time and I know this is a challenge and I've gone home and thought about it and this is how I want to approach it today. And it puts me in a really positive, motivated sort of mindset before I even get my horse. The same thing with putting it on my keys. Um, when I put my keys in the ignition, what it's doing is particularly before I go for a drive anywhere, you know, stuck in traffic or driving out to see your horse or whatever it is, you can start to really Think about all the positive things about your journey and about retraining a horse together and the partnership you share and the things that you love about your horse. Um, you know, it's all about rider mindset and keeping you in that positive, positive frame. So these, as I said, they're little medallions and that's what they're designed to do. They're designed for you to look at them and to think about the positives and to remember your mindset. And they are designed to shift your focus from the negatives to the positives and to keep you thinking about all the things that you love about your horse and, and retraining your own animal. So these are available in our online store. Um, you can purchase them in either color, as I said, and there are a little selection of colors as well, depending on your gear or your just your general preferences, what you like to wear, so that you can click them, click them on and, and off you go. So they are priced at $10 plus postage, um, and postage is flat rate within Australia. So you pay the one postage fee, and whether you buy one or 10, they're the same cost. So the idea is obviously if you buy a couple of them, it makes it dilutes down your postage cost to make it a little bit more affordable. They're not only great for, for um, yourself, but they're also fantastic gifts, particularly if you know someone who just got a new standard bread. Great to start remembering from day one all the things that you want to do so that six months down the track, they can your friend can really look back and realize that they've got a lot of positives to track and measure along the way. Um, so yeah, whether it's a gift or whether it's something to shift your own mindset, I really hope you, you like the look of these and go ahead and, and click and buy one. All right, thanks.